Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security and compliance use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Christopher Johnson. I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How can assured workloads for government help me meet regulatory compliance requirements? Let's take a look at the product. We're going to come into Cloud Console. And for starters, we'll come over to the menu. You can see we have a new compliance area. We're going to click in there. And this is going to take you directly into Assured Workloads. In this case, we can create a new workload and view the ones that we've created. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one here today. Let's fire this up. We'll call this Next Demo. And we're going to tie it to a billing account. Next, you're going to choose the platform controls that you'd like to apply to the workload. In this case, we've got IL-4 and C just turned on. IL-4 allows us to create a workload that's compatible with IL-4 controls. Specifically, it's going to limit Google or access, so Google support access to only US persons. We also have CGIS options. CGIS does something very similar, but it also enables support for escorted access uh, to support use cases. We're going to use IL-4 today. What happens next is the regions that are available to me are limited based on the compliance framework that we've chosen. In this case, IL-4 only supports US regions or US regionality of data, so only re US regions are available to me. I'm going to choose US Central 1, and now I can see which GCP services are available. This will limit the capability to the services that are compatible with these controls, both for regionality and personnel access controls. We're going to click Next. Then we're going to configure the encryption. We'll start this thing up today, set the rotation period, um, and then click Next. We'll review the workload. What you can see here is we've worked very hard to make this an extremely streamlined experience for creating a new workload, putting the controls in place, and getting you ready to onboard data into GCP. I'm going to create the workload. What's going to happen here, as I mentioned, in the platform, we're going to create the project. Uh, both for the Assured Workload as well as for CMAC. So we have some separation of duties there. And we're going to put the backend infrastructure and controls in place to protect the data in a compliant fashion. We can go in here and get some details on the project. It's going to give us the platform controls that were applied. It'll show us the controls specifically that were applied in this case, which are data access controls and data residency. We can see the region that was chosen, obviously the creation time, and then the projects themselves. Like I said, it'll create one for CMAC, it'll create one for the Assured Workload, and it'll show you the services that are in scope for that particular workload. We, of course, can launch into the project, and at this point, I can begin onboarding data into the platform in a compliant fashion, creating VMs, creating workloads, and really starting to take advantage of the platform in a compliant fashion. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud Experts.